Because I want to share with you today one of the most important skills that lawn owners need to know. They need to really know it at their core, how it works, if you're going to tend to your lawn better than anyone else that you know. This doesn't have to be all about fertilizers. It could be about herbicides, but mostly here we're talking about a fundamental skill that can be applied to many different things in the lawn. Today I'm going to be applying some fertilizer to a very small patch of my lawn. I want to apply one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet to a section of my lawn that's not 1,000 square feet. I'm using a product that doesn't tell me how much to put down to hit that rate. So I got to figure out myself. Pretty easy to do, but only if you understand how to do it. All right, what you see here is this little rectangle. This is my side yard next to my driveway, bordering up against my neighbor. This section, I am in the process of killing off the old grass, and I will be applying new grass seed here to put in a brand new lawn, something that's more drought tolerant, something that's going to stand up better to time. While I'm in the process of doing that, I need to fertilize all of the existing grass that's here to get it healthy enough to be able to kill it off faster so that I can get the seed down earlier in the season. To accomplish that goal, I'm gonna be applying some ammonium sulfate. That's a synthetic nitrogen source of fertilizer for grass and other plants. It's water soluble. It does not need biological activity in your soil to get the plants to uptake it. But how on earth do I know how much from this bag, which is tiny, I have others in the garage, but how on earth do I know how much of this bag to put into this scale, to put into my uh, spreader of choice to apply to this area? All right, there's certainly fancier ways to do this, but I use my foot almost all of the time because my foot is about one foot in length. Here to there, it's an arc. I'm gonna start in the middle, about like that, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna count it out and sideways and multiply. Most of us know how to do that. I've already done this before. Add it all together. I'm gonna to be doing this strip here with a little tiny bit in front of the uh, uh, dumpster over there. Combined it's 273 square feet. Nobody counts fertilizer on nitrogen per 273 square feet. So I made myself a nice little spreadsheet on my computer that I can use in a few seconds. All I need to know is the numbers on the bag and how much square footage I am covering or how much I want to cover in an application. And then I can choose my desired pounds per thousand square feet of nitrogen. And literally I just type in five numbers and the whole thing calculates for me. I'll show you that spreadsheet right now and then I'll run through exactly how you can recreate it for yourself or at least do it in your mind or do it on a calculator. All right, this is the product that I'm gonna be using right here. This is, uh, I don't know, this doesn't matter. What this matters right here is ammonium sulfate blend. It's a 2100. I don't even care about any of this stuff for the purpose of this video or for the purpose of this application. That's all I need to know. 21% of this bag is nitrogen. All right, now to start off in regards to how much product to put down or in regards to the math, all we gotta do is take the area that we want to cover, which in my case is 273 square feet, but it could be 5,000, and divide it by 1,000. So for me, that's going to be 0.27. If I was running a 5,000 square foot uh, lawn space, then it would be 5. And then we multiply that by our desired nitrogen application rate. Now for me, I want to apply one pound of nitrogen per thousand square foot to this section. So I'm going to multiply it by one. But if you wanted to do a small application, then you would multiply it by 0.5 or 0.3. Let's say, for instance, you were spoon feeding your lawn every week and you wanted to apply uh, a quarter of a pound of nitrogen per thousand square foot every week, then you would be multiplying it by 0.25. 
If you wanted to do an excessive application, let's say for instance you're putting down an organic product and you didn't expect it to work on the lawn for a very long time and you wanted it to last for a long time, maybe you were putting two pounds of nitrogen down per 1,000 square feet. So you would multiply it by two. Take the area of your lawn that you want to treat, divide it by a thousand, and then multiply it by your desired in per thousand square foot rate. Next, all we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the product that we want to use and figure out how much nitrogen is in every pound of it. This is easy, you just look at it. Just look at the bag. This is a 2100, that means 21% of this product is nitrogen for every pound that we put down. Now we're just gonna compare the first number that we came up with with the number from the bag. Basically, if we take the pounds of nitrogen that we need for our area, divided by the pounds of nitrogen per one pound of product that we're going to use, then that's going to give us the pounds of product that we need to get the right amount of nitrogen on our very specific area. Although that seems pretty complicated, but it's not, I swear to you, it's not. Let me show you the spreadsheet that I have in my house on my computer that any one of you guys can replicate in a couple minutes time so you can see exactly how simple this is. All right, this is where the magic happens for all of my videos, but look at this, look how simple this is. This is everything that I just said on camera is done for me right here. If I use a different product that has 7% nitrogen in it and I want to treat a 2,500 square foot area and I'd like to spoon feed at a 0.2 per pounds per thousand square foot rate, then everything updates to show me for all of these all three of these inputs, I just need half a pound of nitrogen to cover the whole area. Which means for a product that gives me 7% nitrogen, I need a little bit over seven pounds of the product to cover the area. Let's say for instance, I was using a product that had 33% nitrogen and I was covering a 1500 square foot area and I wanted to do a 0.75 pounds per thousand square foot application. Everything updates and all I need is 3.4 pounds of the product to go on the given area. In my scenario, I'm using ammonium sulfate, which is a 21% nitrogen. I'm gonna cover 273 square feet. I would like to put down one pound per thousand square feet. So I need 1.3 pounds of product. Literally, that's all I need to do. So I'm gonna to go to my scale, measure 1.3 pounds, and then go measure it out and spread it on the area. I barely have to think with this spreadsheet built. Right off the top of my head, I don't know how much water I need to dissolve that much ammonium sulfate uh, into the water. So I just add a little bit at a time and mix it. I just mix it until I get a pretty good liquefied version of the granular stuff. If I was doing a very large area, then I just keep this granular stuff. I stick it into a granular spreader and walk around the lawn. But uh, this is a small area and I want to water it in pretty good, but I don't, I can't just put the sprinkler on there. If I put the sprinkler on, it goes everywhere else. So I don't want to water everything else. I just want to water where I'm fertilizing. So I'm going to have a very concentrated uh, solution of fertile, liquid fertilizer that I'm going to throw into a hose end sprayer. So like one of those things that you just go off to your 
local big box store and just buy a little hose and sprayer ortho chameleon hudson there's a handful of others out there uh, they don't cost very much at all so i'm going to put it in there and i'm just going to spray it on the line eventually it's just going to be water that i'm spraying in the line to push that ammonium sulfate down into the soil the ammonium sulfate is water soluble so it's just going to go down to the soil really quick and easy doesn't need biological activity it's just going to be uptake uptaken by the root system of the grass even though the grass looks like it's dying which it is some of it down there isn't so all that's going to suck it up really fast and start growing quickly all right if you're watching this i'm not going to throw the results on this video it will come in very soon videos to be released on this channel subscribers will see them but I've done this a handful of times before, not this exact procedure, uh, but things very close to it. What you're going to be seeing over the next couple weeks is the top grass is stuff that I'm trying to kill off. That's stuff that I sprayed with herbicide uh, six days ago or so. And the stuff that was lower in the canopy wasn't sprayed. So the fertilizer is going to push growth from the lower canopy while the upper canopy is dying off. Upper, uh, the lower canopy is going to push up to the top and at that point then I can go ahead and spray herbicide and hit that portion of the canopy the second time. This is getting into other uh, aspects, other topics that are unrelated to the point of this video. If you subscribe you'll, you'll find that I'm constantly doing lots of different things. Uh, hopefully some of it is interesting to many of you. If you've never used a hose and sprayer before, they're pretty much like the easiest thing, in my opinion, to start using for beginners. Switch around so you got like better view of my face, my beautiful face. Uh, it's not that beautiful. Hose and sprayers are the easiest ways to really start stair stepping into, tiptoeing into spraying your lawn. They're very cheap. That you can buy them locally. I could give you affiliate links to them online, but it's not worth it. Just go to your local store, see what they got. It's probably going to be either the Ortho, the Chameleon, or the Hudson. They might have something else. Buy any one of them. Uh, but I do recommend that you watch my playlist up here about, it's a miniature playlist. We're talking, there's like a couple, just a few videos in it about using your hose and sprayer for the first time. Kind of uh, testing it, figuring out how much uh, spray comes out of it, calibrating it, that sort of thing. Take a look at that next. I've never done this before, but if you want a copy of that spreadsheet, I'm going to link to it in the description below. I'm saying that right now because I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to have to figure it out within the next, I don't know, half a day. I'll put a copy of that spreadsheet in the description below so that you can download it, look at it, redo it, or just use it as is. Hopefully I can figure it out.